stellar mass black holes form when a monstrous star, more than 20 times the mass of the sun, collapses under its gravity at the end of its life. Because the self-detonation is not perfectly symmetrical, the black hole may get a kick and go careening through our galaxy like a blasted cannonball. Although we cannot observe the free-floating black hole directly, there is an indirect way to determine its presence. A black hole warps space, deflecting and amplifying starlight from anything that momentarily lines up exactly behind it. This phenomenon is known as gravitational microlensing. Predicted by Albert Einstein in 1936 using his general theory of relativity, it is mainly used to detect exoplanets and more than 30,000 microlensing events have been recorded in the Milky Way so far. We also discuss gravitational lensing in the Irondale episode of the Sunday Discovery series. Ground-based and space telescopes, which monitor the brightness of millions of stars in the rich star fields towards the central bulge of our Milky Way, look for a sudden increase in their brightness when a massive object passes in their foreground. And the Hubble Space Telescope is one of the best instruments to do this job. Astronomers first noticed this microlensing event way back in August 2011. The star brightened and then faded back to its normal brightness as the black hole passed by. Miraculously subtract the light from the nearby bright star to precisely measure the deflection of the faint source. The black hole is traveling across the galaxy at 100,000 miles per hour or 160,000 kilometers per hour.